They say when it rains, it pours, and that's been the case for one local college student. Despite hardship after hardship, Simona Fosdick has persevered. And that's what makes her an RCTC Foundation Beat the Odds scholarship winner. Brianna Cook brings us her story. We had a pool party, and that's me. 19-year-old Simona Fosdick grew up in a close-knit family in Kasson. My brother is a girl. Like many families, the Fosdicks have photo albums full of family pictures. This is my sister. This is my favorite one. And with those pictures come memories, some of which are fonder than others. So my mom and I were going through stuff in my room. So we went and put water on the stove because we we're going to make ramen. And then all of a sudden we kind of started smelling like a smoke. And I looked over at my mom and I'm like, do you smell that? And she's like, yeah, that's kind of weird. So then we opened the door to go figure out what it was. And the house was filling with smoke. I can hear like things being thrown around. I'm like, mom, are you OK? And she's not responding. So I'm like, oh my gosh, my mom like something happened and I'm gonna have to like pull her body out. I honestly thought that I'm like, oh my gosh, I, lo I lost my mom. That's what I thought, cause she wasn't saying anything. I went in there and it was just black. Everything was black. And I'm like, this is surreal. During the fire, we didn't realize how hot it got and how dangerous it really was. Thankfully, Simona and her mother were okay. But just two weeks after that fire, news would strike that another member of the Fosdick family was not okay. I wasn't feeling real well, and it turns out I had uh, three bleeding ulcers that was infected with the H. pylori virus, and they stuffed me in the hospital then and uh, took care of that issue, but it took me a long time to recover. My kidneys took a big hit in that time frame. He ended up getting approved for a kidney. As soon as she found out her father, Daniel, needed a kidney, Simona knew she wanted to be his donor. After he got approved, um, I started the process. But Simona wouldn't have to. Finally, the good news the family had been waiting for. Three months from the, from the day that uh, they put me on the list. I was in surgery getting a new kidney. The surgery and recovery went well, but Daniel's medical problems were not over. They said that he was showing uh, signs of rejection. After the first couple of days, all of a sudden my what's called titers, which is kind of how your body's accepting or rejecting the kidney, went absolutely crazy. And after he started the healing process from that, Daniel suffered a heart attack. The thing I want most is for him to be home, and I don't know when that is. I guess I have to do it higher because he's way taller than me. <laughs> Simona and her family take things day by day, and even though she's still dealing with the scare of her dad's health problems, Simona is stepping up to help around the house, and she's focusing on her future. She'll call me and she'll be like, is there anything you want me to do, Mom? Is there anything I can help with, you know? It could be a video that we did. Simona is currently attending RCTC. She's doing the Path to Purple program with Winona State to become an elementary school teacher. She says she wants to inspire kids, just like the influential teachers she has had throughout her life. Teachers like Jennifer Keeney, a psychology instructor at RCTC, who nominated Simona for the Beat the Odds scholarship. I just think Simona is the perfect example of a student that works really hard. My teachers really have an impact on me and I had a special connection with a few of them. And so I wanted to have a connection like that with other people. And everyone in her support system knows Simona will have no problem reaching her goals and following her dreams. Absolutely. I don't think there's anything that's going to stop her. You know, I really don't. She's the best kid on the planet that yeah, I could ever ask yeah. for. And really grateful that she got that scholarship, you know, which really helps out at this time where we have so many medical bills and other bills ahead. But We'll get through it. We always do. Yeah, I don't... We're, we're a pack. Yeah, yeah. That kind of pushes me is showing my dad that, yeah, you're going through all of this, but I'm still pushing forward. Pushing forward to add more pictures and memories. And this is actually at my grandparents' house. To those family albums. Since we first talked to Simona, her father did suffer another heart attack. However, he is home now and the family says they're still taking one day at a time.